Hello, today I'll be working on a 2011 Sienna. Uh, it's making a grinding sound. And this is inside the cabin when the engine's already running. And this is how it sounds. One of those, I think one of those pulleys is making a noise. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be checking the pulleys and I'm gonna remove the belt. You gotta jack the car up. And this is on the passenger side. There's gonna be a cover here. T two bolts and a clip. Remove that and here's the belt and you see the tensioner right there it's a 40 millimeters you put a a wrench on it or with a socket or something and you just push it that way and you got to get the tension of the belt so i took a 14 millimeter uh, a wrench like this and I did it uh, it's counterclockwise. You just gotta push it that way and I put a little Allen key to get the tension up and now I can get the belt off. So here's the belt going off. And make sure you remember how the belt goes, like throw all the pulleys or just look it up. So I'm just gonna be removing the belt. So you can see the tension is off and I put a little Allen key in the slot to get the tension off. Alright, so I managed to spin each pulley and I think it's my water pump. You can see the water pump, this is the water pump. And it feels like there's play, like it can actually move side to side, I can feel a little play. And I think I hear it making a grinding sound when I spin it. And I tested all the other pulleys and they seem fine. So I'm guessing this water pump pulley is bad. And yeah, it feels like there's play in the water pump. So I'm just gonna replace all my pulley, the water pump, the tensioner, and the idler pulley. I'll replace all those three pulleys and I'll get a new Sepertini belt, might as well. Alright, I removed the cover that was here, just pull it up and here it exposes the engine. So I uh, started to drain the fluid and here it's draining right now. Just to put a little funnel here and the fluid is draining and you just <clears throat> see that yellow thing right there? It's like in the middle, you can put your hand in there and you just spin it and it'll start leaking fluid. And it'll go, there's a hole right here and it'll just leak through the hole. And there's the hole right there and it's just leaking into my little funnel into the bottle. And I just did, right here, just my first gallon, I just, this is all used fluid that came from the Sienna van. And I'm doing my second one already. It's filling up, so gotta get rid of all the fluid. And I opened this a little bit just to get the air so it can drain faster. And that's about it for now. And this is all the parts that I'm replacing on the Sienna. Uh, here's the tensioner, here's the part number, and here's the tensioner. It's straight from Toyota. Here's the idler pulley. Here's the water pump. Here's the gaskets and the seals. Here's a model number. And you'll also need antifreeze. And I got the Toyota, super long. It's all OEM. 
and that's the part number and I'll list all the part numbers in the, my description and also the Supertini belt here's the part number alright so I managed to change my water pump and I'm just gonna give you some tips that I use to change it and um, you gotta remove a bracket here there's gonna be a bracket here and this is the bracket right here this is the bracket this one is actually a pain to remove because there's a bolt down here that they're so super long like these are the bolts they're pretty long and it was really hard to, to take it out and you can see I uh, it was so hard that it scratched the metal because it's like so difficult to remove it so that was a little pain I did jack up, jack up the engine just a little bit from from this part right here I jacked it up from like this part with the 2x4 so it won't scratch nothing like right here and uh, to give me some clearance to remove that bolt and I was able to remove it uh, so that bolt was actually a pain uh, I did remove the engine mount the top one and you don't have to support the engine the, the engine supports itself so if you remove this mount right here that's the engine mount I removed also you gotta remove this bracket which is like right here and you gotta remove this little clip which is like right here so here's your um this is your thermostat housing. To remove that, there's a, a upper radiator hose here, and there's a radiator hose on the back right here. And just uh, I hook those hoses with the clamps and remove the clamps. And this thermostat housing is bolted around. Just remove the bolt, and you gotta push it out. Once you push it out, you see this part right here, right there, the bottom one right here. It just slides out. There's like a rubber seal gasket right here. Uh, it comes with the water pump to replace this gasket right here. So replace this gasket. Um, so yeah, that's changed. Once you remove that, you can get to the bolts for the water pump. And to remove this pulley, to remove these bolts for the pulley, uh, here's my old water pump. And to remove those bolts, that's, that's you know that pulley that's bolted on here. You see that little notch right there, right there, that little notch. There's going to be that pulley on here, and there's going to be a hole which you stick like a, a nail or a something so it can hold the pulley. Once you unscrew those bolts, you can pull the nail out again. So, so just to support, it so you can loosen all the bolts. So when you go back to tighten them, do the same thing. Stick a nail in there, and you can tighten all all these fours. And once I loosen the, the water pump bolts, and once I loosen that black black pulley wheel, uh, there will be more bolts on the back from, from that pulley. There will be more bolts for the water pump. So, But that pulley, I don't know, for me, it didn't want to come out separately. So it came out with the water pump. So I remove all the bolts from the black pulley. And... I like hold it with one hand and unscrew the bolts for the water pump behind the pulley there's more bolts for the water pump you gotta get to and then the whole water pump just pulls up through the top uh, with the pulley with that black pulley thing and with the gasket and stuff so you pull everything out and uh, this is the thermostat uh, model number and this is my old one I mean there's nothing wrong with it but I'm like might as well change it and uh, make sure they don't sell the gasket with the thermostat. I don't know why they should have just sold it with the thermostat already, but you gotta buy it separately. So the gasket is a separate part. So make sure you buy a gasket here. It goes around here. Yeah, and here's my uh, water pump, the one that came from the van. And. Um, you can hear the grinding sound when I spin this. It's so rough to spin. 
and uh, you can hear a, a grinding sound and here's the tensioner this is my, that came off the van I already have the new one in there and to replace the tensioner it's a little pain actually um, this is how I did it you gotta to remove the tensioner you gotta remove the AC pump and you gotta remove the alternator just to get to those bolts for the tensioner so I did um, went to my high line or the low line and drained the uh, AC from these lines I just like took a screwdriver removed this nut right here took a screwdriver and uh, was able to get all the air out for the AC because you gotta unscrew your AC lines and I also removed the um, radiator fan to remove the radiator fan you gotta remove this thing the air duct and you gotta remove your reservoir tank so once these remove you'll be able to remove the bolts for the radiator fan and the radiator fan just remove the bolts and just picks up so you have more room and also I removed the bottom plastic thing the liner remove that too just so easier get the bolts for the bottom for the AC pump and uh, also once you remove the AC pump make sure you be careful not to spill the oil which is inside the AC pump just be careful you can churn it so you won't spill the oil so the AC pump uh, won't spill the oil the alternator I the alternator I just removed the bolts and I left one bolt in you don't have to remove the the alternator you just have to like leave it on one bolt and you can just like push it away to get to the bolts for the tensioner that's it so I just left it on there so I just like so it can swivel you swivel it out of the way you remove the two bolts for the the tensioner and you can put the alternator back so I did not remove the and you have to disconnect all those connections right there like all those uh, harnesses that goes to the AC pump and it goes to the alternator you have to remove all those things just to make room to remove the tensioner and I did remove the I removed this AC line and the bottom one AC line I did remove it from the AC pump so I did remove those two lines so yeah the tensioner is a little tricky to do so I guess if it's not bad don't do it but it is possible to do it but it is time consuming just be careful and you'll get it out mine's good I just did it cuz might as well do it cuz I'm already in there and it's already changed out and also when you remove the water pump there will be still coolant so I drained out this much coolant still so I think it's about two gallons you'll get out of the when I drain the radiator and and then I when I remove the water pump I had more coolant flow up, uh, came out so I think it's about two gallons you'll need of coolant so might as well get three gallons of coolant and also for the water pumps for the long bolts there was a uh, some kind of silicone paste on it so I got this it was gray so I'm a, I got gray ultra gray um, high torque RTV silicone gasket maker I put that on the bolt threads because it was on there so I just put them there I'm not sure this is the right stuff but I think it is so I put this on the bolt threads of the water pump the, on the long ones I put this on the long bolts and this is how the van sounds after the water pump install everything sounds quiet how it's supposed to be and to bleed your system open that valve right there 
you see that valve is 10 millimeters open it and open this um, top of your tank and make sure your engine is cold and start pouring the fluid through through your radiator so start flowing the and the fluid will start coming out, out of that valve right there so as soon as the fluid starts coming out of there you can close it uh, top this off again and make sure you have fluid in your reservoir tank and then make sure you crank your heat make sure everything is on hot and go for a test drive make sure your engine operate temperature is normal and this is where's mine at after driving for um, like 10 minutes and that's where it's at and I did not have heat in the back of my vents it was blowing cold air but the front was blowing hot air so I let the van cool off again and I did that thing again I opened that bleeder valve and I opened the radiator cap and I poured some more and some more air came out out of the valve and as soon as the fluid started coming out again uh, I shut everything off and I closed everything and after a couple days I went for a ride and with the heat on too so I drove with the heat on just to get everything circulated and now everything blows hot air so everything's now good and no noise so that's about it if you have any other questions just ask in the comments